Hello fellow citizens and welcome back. CAG is finally testing a new max lift tractor beam tool in 321.1 or experimental PTU patch. As you can see it looks really good and it is much bigger than our standard hand multi-tool that we are using all this time in the verse. It seems that for now you can't attach mining, cutting or salvage attachments so it is possible that this will be mainly a tractor beam tool in the future for moving larger containers and things in Star Citizen. You can buy this tool in any space station that have a refinery. I bought mine at Cruel 1 station and this tool will occupy one slot on your back or backpack just like your rifles. So keep that in mind. Max lift tool have two modes, a traversal mode for moving things around and probably a detach mode which is not showing when I press B on my keyboard like on the standard hand multi-tool. It is probably just a bug which will be fixed before this tool goes live. You can clearly see that uh, some stats are changing while I press B. For example on right side you can see that it says no target or target shielded. If target or uh, in this case an Aurora LN have active shields, then Max Lift tool is unable to catch the ship. Let's see what will happen if I shut down the shields on my ship. Okay, shields are down. Now let's see, can we use this tool to actually move my ship around? Here we go, I have successfully locked my ship and I can move it around. One thing that is not working is rotation when I press R on the keyboard. So you can't actually rotate your ship once you lift it off the ground. Next I went to Shubin mining facility to test this tool on some ground vehicles since I wanted to see if I can lift them up as well. As I arrived I found abandoned STV so I needed to go outside an armistic zone to be able to pull max lift tool out and test it. I am outside of Armistic Zone, so let's check this out. Target is valid. And I have a lock. I am not surprised at all, because if I can lift Aurora, then I believe I can lift up any ground vehicle currently in the game. Now let's see if this tool has some limitations or I can lift and move any ship in Star Citizen. To test this I went for my beloved Anvil Terrapin which is bigger and heavier than Aurora so let's see will I be able to lift and move Terrapin around. I turned off the shields. Now let's go outside and check if we can lift and move Terrapin. And as you can see color around the ship is yellow, which probably means that this ship is too heavy for this tool. To be honest, this is perfectly normal since we really don't want to be able to move ships like C2 or Caterpillar since I'm pretty sure that some people would abuse this tool and grieve players around the verse. So after my ship and the ground vehicle test I have also tested this tool on our regular cargo containers that we use every day in Star Citizen, mainly for transferring our precious cargo from salvage ships or PvE bounty ships while we try to earn those much needed credits in game for our gear and ships. I've said that once you lift a ship you can't rotate it like you can with the cargo boxes and containers, in this case you can move the boxes while press and hold R on your keyboard. You can see that I can move even the biggest 32 SEU cargo container without any problems. You can also see what is inside of cargo containers just like with the regular multi-tool. 
So what do you think? Will there be a restrictions to our regular multi-tool in a way that we will be able to move cargo container up to like 8 or 16 ACU and for bigger size like 24, 32 and larger we will need to use this max lift tool. I would love to hear your thoughts about this so feel free to leave some of them in the comment section. I'm really happy to see this new tractor beam in testing phase and I hope this will come live in 321.1 patch for everyone to use. So this is all for today, thank you for watching, please like, subscribe and leave some comments. Like always, until the next video, stay safe in the verse and may the force be with you.